All right, for this lab, 1.09, the properties of water lab, you're going to need uh, some glass containers. It's, the lab says to use baby food jars. That's what I have here. Uh, if you don't have baby food jars, that's fine. You can also use uh, shot glasses. These are some pesto jars, and these are some glass containers. So any of those containers will work for this lab. Um, just make sure you have glass and it's clear. I have filled these to the brim with water. This one I put in the microwave for about 30 seconds. And this one I've melted an ice cube in. You can see I'm a little bit of my ice cube left. Because I want to make sure there's a large temperature difference. I have hot and cold. To make sure I know which one is hot, I'm going to put red dye in the hot jar. You don't need very much dye, maybe a drop or two. And then for the cold one, I'm going to make it blue. All right, now when those, uh, the, I'll start up a little bit so the dye mixes all the way in. Mm -hmm, it's hot. Okay, now very first trial I want to do is hot over cold. The instructions tell you to use an index card, but I find that not to be the best use. Uh, so I use a card similar to this, where it's the hard plastic, like an old library card or ID card or hotel key card, something like that, it's hard plastic. Put it on top of the hot jar. And then you're going to flip that over. and place on top of the cold blue jar. Now you do want to get them lined up as, most, as closely as possible and then slowly pull the card out from between them and then watch what happens. Isn't that awesome? Nothing is happening. The red is staying in the red jar and the blue is staying in the blue jar. And why is this happening? This is happening because the cold water molecules are closer together than the hot water molecules. So they are more dense, and that's what I want you to remember is dense, and they're making a layer so the hot water molecules cannot enter into the blue jar. If it's easier for you to think about like this, when it's cold outside and it's wintertime, you're wearing lots of clothes and you want people close to you to get the, their body warmth. In summertime, when it's hot, you're wearing um, shorts and t-shirts and flip-flops, you have your hair pull up if you're a girl, and you do not want people close to you because you want to be um, cooling down, not warming up. All right, and while, while we have it like this, let's go ahead and flip it. And see what happens. Watch what happened just there. You see the blue on the bottom and the red on the top? What happened was the blue will always sink to the bottom and then made a mess. And the red will always float on top because of the density levels of the two of them. And that's why I have a towel because this is a very messy lab. All right, here we have our hot water red. Again, I just took out the microwave and then my cold water blue and take out my ice cube. I'll let it get nice and chilly in there. And now I want to put the hot on top of the cold. I'm sorry, the cold on top of the hot. Take my card and put it on top of the hot jar. Cool jar. The cold jar and flip it upside down and put on top of the hot jar. Oops. Try and keep the air completely out. Line them up and slowly slide out the card and watch what happens. See how the blue slowly falls into the red, that is because of density again. The, like I said, the cold water molecules are more dense than the hot water molecules and they want to sink to the bottom. So yes, some of you might think that hot rises, but that has to do with air. We're talking about water here and so we're talking about the density of the molecules and so now we have purple water, which is quite beautiful to look at. Um, and so that is what happens when you mix the coal on top of the hot, the coal will always sink to the bottom because it is more dense than the hot water. Okay, here we have our jars again, and I've got just plain tap water at this point, and we're going to put salt 
to represent the ocean or salt water. So I'm going to put a teaspoon of salt in my jar. And just dropping in like that isn't going to give me much of a result. I need to be sure I stir thoroughly to dissolve the salt. So I'm going to stir it up. Make sure it's thoroughly dissolved before I start my lab. Alright, and then I want to add green food coloring to my salt. So I'm going to add drops of green and then yellow to my fresh water so I can see the differences. And we'll give them a little bit of a stir so we get that all mixed in. Alright, so now I've got my green salt and my yellow fresh. For trial number three, I want to put my salt on top of my fresh. So I'm going to put my card on top of my salt water. Make sure I don't lose any water and keep the air out. Put on top of my fresh water. Line them up and slowly pull out my card. Just making sure they're lined up and watch what happens. It immediately drops to the bottom and my card now is covered in salt. What happened was the salt water, the green salt water, is obviously more dense than the yellow fresh water because it mixed immediately. Um, so the density again is heavier and that's why it sinks. Okay, here I have my jars again. I'm going to again put the salt into my jar. Again, a teaspoon, not need too much, uh, and mix it in. Make sure it dissolves, and add my green food coloring to it. Just a drop or two. We don't need very much. Okay, Lou. Make sure it's, all the salt is completely dissolved. Make sure your lab is successful. And then add the yellow to your fresh. Make sure it is all mixed in properly. And this time we're going to put the yellow fresh water on top of the green salt water. My card on top. Dump it upside down on top of my green salt water and slowly pull out the card and watch what happens. They stay completely separate. Isn't that awesome? I love this lab because I love to see how water stays separate like that. Um, I don't usually think of water does not mixing together. I think of oil and water not mixing, but water and water in my head always think it just always mixes. But as you can tell, that salt water is definitely more dense and those molecules are creating a layer that the fresh water cannot enter into the, the salt water container. Now we need to turn it horizontal and find out what happened to turn it horizontal. And it's hard to tell, but there is a small line of yellow on top and most of the green is on bottom. You can see it separated a little bit now. And the green uh, is on bottom because it is more dense and the yellow on top because it is less dense. So the density levels definitely have a lot to do with how the water mixes or not mixes. All right, there we have completed 1.09 properties of water lab together. Thank you for watching and doing this experiment with me together. I look forward to more experiments in the future.